Good morning. Uh, today, the Aging Committee will vote on proposed intro 1188, sponsored by Council Member Ayala, and Resolution 714A, which I'm proud to sponsor. Proposal intro 1180A would require each caseworker at a city funded senior center to complete a mental health training course for older adults offered by the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene or any other successor agency. These training courses are offered for free by the agency and would train caseworkers to identify mental health triggers and warning signs in the older adult population they work with every day. Caseworker would also need to complete a refresher training course at least once every three years, so long as the course is offered by DOHMH. This bill takes an important step in serving the mental health needs of our senior population, especially those seniors coming out of our senior centers. Resolution 714A calls upon the United States Congress to pass and the President to sign S-485 and H.R. 1230, the Protecting Older Workers Against Discrimination Act, also known as POWADA. The Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1968, ADEA, protects individuals age 40 and older from age discrimination in the workplace. Sadly, the protection put forth by ADEA were weakened during a 2009 U.S. Supreme Court decision in Gross versus FBL Financial Services, Inc., in which the court decided that plaintiffs seeking to prove age discrimination in the workplace proved that age was the only motivating factor for the employer's action. This disheartening decision makes it more difficult to prove age discrimination and puts all seniors at risk, including our city seniors. In fiscal year 2017, age discrimination accounted for 21.8% of complaints made to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, with more than 18,000 complaints filed. As reported by the New York City Commission on Human Rights, or CCHR, of the 193 queries, CCHR received about age discrimination in 2017, 119 of them were related to age discrimination in employment. With these alarming statistics, our federal colleague should be making age discrimination law stronger, not weaker. POWADA would reverse the 2009 U.S. Supreme Court decision and help protect our country's older adults from age discrimination in the workplace. We will now hear from Council Member Ayala for some remark on Proposal uh, 1188. Council Member Ayala. Thank you. Um, I just want to say I'm really proud of this bill. It's been a long time coming. As many of you know, um, before coming to the city council, I actually worked in senior services, and I had the uh, privilege of working at a homebound uh, program where I was uh, interning with a bunch of social workers who really knew how to deal with mental illness. And so having had that experience and then entering into the senior center where, uh, because of limited resources, staff is not really equipped to identify those, it became pretty evident that there was a, a, a real need for this type of, of resource. And it isn't something that is unheard of. We train caseworkers every year uh, on CPR and mental health shouldn't be taken any lighter than you know that uh, a person having a heart attack at a senior center mental health is important and it's important that the people that are working with the most vulnerable be equipped with the tools that they need to ensure that proper treatment and referrals are being made and so I'm really proud of this I'm proud of the staff thank you all for uh, taking the time to draft this with me to talk it uh, through and for um, just being you know a good partner and I hope that my colleagues agree and vote in the affirmative today and I vote aye on the bills. Thank you. Uh, we've been joined by 
Councilmember Diaz, Deutsch, uh, Rose, Traeger, Drum, and Valong, and Ayala. You know, I strongly support both of these um, important pieces of legislation. And these bills will help serve uh, our city's aging population better. And I urge uh, committee members to vote aye in favor of this bill. Anyone else wanted to speak on the bills? No? Okay, so will the clerk please call the vote? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on aging, introduction 1180A and resolution 714A. Items are coupled, chair Chin. Aye at all, thank you. Deutsch. Chair, I'm gonna take your recommendation, I vote aye and all. Rose. I would like to be added to both of these very important um, bills, and I vote aye on all. Traeger. Aye. Valone. Aye on all. Ayala. Aye on all. Diaz. I also would like to be to be included in the in the those two bills, and I vote yes. Wow. My vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Well, thank you to everyone, and the meeting is adjourned. All right, run over with your phone. Oh. oh, don't end it? Somebody? Oh, okay. Sorry. Because I was going to run over. You got your you got your we will leave the vote open for the next 10 minutes. Thank you.